Hello YouTube, I'm Quan Fear and welcome to my Batman Arkham City walkthrough series. In this video I'm showing you this first sequence which is saving Catwoman from Two-Face. I have edited out all the cutscenes and sped up the video during the parts of this only movement. Hope you enjoy it and comment and uh, we'll, we will get this video going. Alright, so we just put the suit on and now we are, you know, this is our first time you get a chance to, to roam around. I took you have this little bit here where you talk to Alfred, um, and you uh, you hack into the ne the audio network that the uh, ti the tiger guards use. Uh, this part's pretty easy. You just basically move your cursor up to the glowy circle, press and hold your A button, and it'll decode, and that's all you gotta do. Now you don't have to go right after this. Um, right after this, you don't have to. You know, go to uh, go and save her. If you know where there are question marks, you can already you can go save them. But the ones that require you to like scan something to, for clues, you can't actually do yet. You have to wait until the Riddler gets a hold of you and starts that particular series. That doesn't sound good. You won't find any uh, Riddler snitches either at this point. If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. So really what you do here is you just jump off and to head towards the uh, building you see in the, in the distance, which is simply uh, it's a courthouse. I was looking around there, I just, I just, I just kind of cut that part out. And then, uh, to glide, all you got to do is uh, press and hold the A button, and you'll, you'll glide. You don't have to do the dive bombing thing, but at any point in your glide, you can actually hit right click, the uh, right bumper, and you'll grapple up to one of the gargoyles. So I see the bad guys down there. So I was, uh, what I did there is you should also be on the lookout for uh, video cameras. And uh, by listening to, you can actually find those by listening to the um, inmates. They'll tell you about how they don't like being watched. And that usually means that somewhere where you are, there's a video camera that you can throw. And it's one of those uh, collectible, one of those um, destructible objects where if you destroy all of them, you get uh, extra... Uh, experience points. This is the first real fight uh, fight of the game, where you're you know you're Batman, and it's uh, not hard. Uh, just you don't have a lot of your gadgets, and uh, your ability to do uh, takedowns is limited because you have to get to eight combo points at least to do anything. Um, you can use your all your gadgets. I mean, I do one point here, throw a a battering at something to someone's face, but you know it wasn't anything special. So you do what the the best you can, um, countering when the blue circle comes up, uh, blue lightning bolts. You're not gonna see anything, any of the yellow ones or red ones. So you can counter everything they throw, they they do. So it's not that big of a deal. I jump around a lot here because I find it's e whatever kind of attack they're gonna do, you can always jump over them. And here here's my one of my favorites, the beat down. You stun the person and then hit strike a bunch of times and you uh, and you take them down. So that's everybody. Now you uh, just go right into the, the, uh, the door. You can actually go through. There's a second story entrance, and you can actually go through that first if you want. If you want to just avoid the fight, but the more fights you get into, the more combos you get, the more experience points, and so you go up, um, you get more advances quicker. So just go up the center, turn left, and right here you'll actually end up uh, the cutscene. I did that part out, and you just go from here. You go up the ladder. Quiet like you Taking take out this guy. The gun is the key. Like the game him, basically tells you. The room won't be a problem. Like and after this, you get onto the rope. You don't have to get on the rope actually. You can just uh, drop down. You basically find someone you uh, who the bat symbol goes over, and you just go to town. Um, a lot of these guys will actually just end up running away just like that. So you just have maybe ten at the most, but not that many. I guess maybe less than six. The whole time, Two Faces is actually shooting at you so that is um and it never really bothered me but i guess it can lead to something if you let it if, if you let it hit him so just you know go to town use, use the objects you have counter have a good time i never thought, found this particular match all that hard once you do it once you once you beat them all you'll get this part where he shoots you and you, uh, so there's a cutscene. You have this bit where uh, you save Catwoman, and now you uh, set up for the sniper rifle right here. You just gotta get those two points. He'll line them up, and then tell you, "Hey, I gotta go to um, the church." 
and you can't uh, once you're done you can't actually go out the back or the front you have to go out the back this is also the first time you get an advance and so you kind of you know do you want to balance the health with your ability to do combat uh, I personally like doing the enhanced combat parts better because it allows you to get rid of the guys quicker and here's the first question mark you can get right there just turn around down here you gotta get a battering through the um, uh, through uh, the electricity, turn back around, and then up and over the uh, the gate. And I'll show you this right here in a second. Get upstairs. So right here, select your, your roll control battery. You get that. You just work your way down around. Through. Slow down when you need to. Go up and back down. And wham. That's the first time you have to use, a, to use it. All you got to do now is grab it and then head out. All right. And that's it for this video. I will talk to you guys on my next one. Hope you enjoyed it.